Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the Medford Slim Midi. So we've already talked about the uh, Dress Marauder, the smallest of the Marauder family. We've talked about the Midi Marauder, the middle one of the Marauder family. And today we want to talk about the Slim Midi. So let me run through the specs on this one really quick and then we'll compare it to the other two. So this is a closed length of four and three eighths inches with an overall length of 7.9 inches. The blade length from the edge of the scale to the tip is 3.5 inches with a cutting edge of 3.1. The blade thickness on this is 0.125, so it's much thinner than the midi. <clears throat> the overall thickness is 0 0.40 minus the clip. This one is a S35 VN steel, as you can tell by the uh, S there. The weight is 4.3 ounces on this one. So it does run, as all the Medfords do, on phosphor, phosphor bronze washers. Here's a frame lock. Has great action. Super pocket friendly. This uh, <clears throat> particular one has some custom jipping, custom texturing, grinding uh, across the spine of the blade. That was actually done uh, by Greg. This particular knife originally was bought by a good friend of mine, Joe, and he got it right there at the factory. And Greg says, hey, let me, let me have that for a minute. He went over and did some real quick grinding on it and off it went. Um, Joe carried it for quite a while, sold it to another buddy, sold it to another buddy who then got it to me. <laughs> so we kind of kept this one all in the family, so to speak. It's just completely tumbled, nothing fancy. Uh, just a great um, gentleman's folder, I think I would call this one. So let's compare it. There's a lot of talk going on right now about the uh, sizes of all the Marauder families. Like we talked about the other day, um, I'll be doing each one <clears throat> throughout the videos. And then at the end, we'll get them all together and compare them all side by side by side. So the Slim Midi is roughly the same thickness as the Dress Marauder. So this, the Slim Midi is 0 0.40. The Dress Marauder, this particular Dress Marauder is 0 0.42. And I, the reasoning is the carbon fiber scale is slightly thicker than the titanium lock side. So I believe, and I do not have a full titanium uh, dress, I believe it would probably be the exact same thickness as the midi uh, because the titanium scale would be a little slimmer than the carbon fiber version. So but the blade thickness is exactly the same at 0.12. So to give you a size comparison between the two, we do pivot to pivot, <clears throat> or you go kind of butt to butt. There you go. So then we bring out the MIDI Marauder, which is actually the exact same footprint as the Slim MIDI in every way. Completely the same uh, overall outside dimensions, same blade, shape, geometry. It is just thinner. So your Slim Midi again is 0 0.40 and your Midi Marauder is 0 0.62. So you have a little bit of a weight difference. The Midi Marauder is 4.3, uh, the Slim Midi is 4.3, and the Midi is 6.4 ounces. So it's a little heavier, but still completely pocketable. So then the blade thickness is obviously a little bit thicker. You got 0.125 on the slim and 0.19189 on the midi. You can also see that the scales are a little bit thicker on the midi. So it's overall just a hair thicker uh, than the slim. But overall, both great knives. The, what, you, what I really kind of uh, compared this one to is the Chris Reeves Sabenza. The large 21 that I have here is slightly longer, 
But if you're familiar with the Chris Reeve, you're familiar with the Slim Midi, actually, um, because it is very similar in size, shape, and geometry. It is slightly thicker because I have the carbon fiber inlays on the Sebenza. The blade is a slightly different dimension, but virtually the same. The Sebenza is going to be a little bit better of a slicer just because of the, the grind. But again, if you've carried a Sebenza, you have effectively carried a Slim Midi. I'm, I'm gonna go that far to say that they are so very similar in nature that you know you're familiar with them both <clears throat> so there's a lot of talk about should i get the slim midi or the midi i think they're both great knives it all depends on your you know preference you can't go wrong with either one you know the the slim midi has the same problems that the midi had with that it's almost a little more pronounced on the MIDI, now that I'm looking at it, the lock face, the exposed lock face is actually more exposed on the MIDI on the right than on the slim MIDI on the left. I just now noticed that. But again, I have not had a problem with the exposed lock face, but potentially you could damage that if you dropped this, if it went, you know, sliding down. I don't know. This potentially could be damaged <clears throat> and affect the lockup of this knife. Okay. It does have the exposed detent track, which, again, I've never had a problem with, but it is a design thing that could be an issue. And it's got this, you know, sharp lock cutout. Again, it's not going to cut you, but again, at this price point, it, it's a thing. The Sebenza, it's, I don't know if we can really see it's chamfered there, but it is, it's chamfered. So Chris Reeve has figured out the way to do that a little bit nicer. Yes, you have a bigger gap than you do on the Medfords maybe, slightly larger gap, but it's just one more level of fine detail. <clears throat> So it does come with a lanyard hole. This is the pocket clip that they have now gone to on the Dress Marauder. So on the new style Dress Marauders, you have this exact pocket clip over here. So I think that's going to work better. I, I've just not had a chance to check that out yet. So anyway, I think that pretty much covers the Slim Midi in a comparison with the Midi and the Dress. In a couple of days, we'll do a, um, a Marauder H and then a full-size Marauder. And then we'll do a family video comparing them all side by side by side. So stay tuned for that. Please uh, give me a comment down below what you think about the Slim Midi. Please like and subscribe to the video. And have yourselves a great day. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.